Hi guys, let's move on to the next exercise where we calculate the median. Now we've calculated median in 7th and 8th as well uh, and 9th as well. So what is median? Median is the midpoint of the data. So you arrange it, you arrange the data first in uh, either ascending order or descending order and then look at the exactly the midpoint. Now there were two options. Uh, this is all that we've done till last year was on raw data where data was given in this form like the way it is in question number two or even in question number four. It's given in raw form as in it's given in direct data form and we have two options when n is equal to odd which is in case there were odd number of data points or n is equal to even. Now in case of odd we would let's say if there are nine data points then median will be the 9 plus 1 upon 2th term which is the 5th term perfect so in case it is odd we add 1 divide by 2 that term makes makes it the uh, median now let's look at when the uh, n is even we've done this as well but let's still do this question here uh, my suggestion is uh, the most important part is not to lose out on any data so the way I would uh, mark my data point would be I would start looking at arranging it in the uh, correct order. Let's look at which is the smallest number. So that's 20.5. I cancel it out. The next is 21. I notice there is one more 21. So I cancel this out as well. I do this so that I don't miss out on any number. Next one is 22. So I put 22. Next is 24. And I notice there is one more 24. So 24. Next is 25.5, which is here. And then is 27.5. Next is 28. And next is 28.5. Everything cancelled. Let's check if 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Since n is even, therefore median is equal to n by 2th term plus n by 2 plus 1th term upon 2. We take the average of the middle two terms. In this case, n by 2 is the fifth term and 5 plus 1 that's 6 term divided by 2. I put more space I didn't anticipate. Anyway so let's count fifth term 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So fifth term is 24 and the sixth term is 24. So I take the average of 24. So it's 24 plus 24 upon 2 which is 24. So the median is 24 since these are weights so let me just write the answer therefore median weight is equal to 24 kg perfect that's the data now the next thing is quartile now what's quartile like the way in a median we divide in two parts in a quartile as the name suggests quart which means we divide it in four car four parts so if this is the total data this first part if i divide it by four is known as q1 this which is divided by 2 is q2 this is also the median you can also look at quartile as dividing the part between 0 and median by 2 this which is the third part is q3 and this obviously is so these are the q1 q2 and q3 so this part this part and this part and this part we are dividing into four equal parts the divided by 4 gives me q1 divided by 2 gives me the median divided by 3 gives me q3 this is known as lower quartile this is known as upper this one q3 is known as upper quartile and upper quartile minus lower quartile is known as inter quartile range so new concept we haven't done this yet but we know what quartile means now so upper quartile is you divide by 4 multiplied by 3 because this will be the third part 
this is divided by 4 directly this is divided by 2 so lower quartile upper quartile so dividing something some data point in four equal halves so i have already arranged this uh, data in ascending order my n is given equal to 16 so part 1 median will be equal to uh, 16 upon 2th term which is the 8th term which is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so my median is 40 is this correct no this is not correct you remember uh, that in case n is odd then you look at n by 2th term plus n by 2 plus 1th term upon 2 just a quick reminder so we are looking at 8th term plus 9th term upon 2 which in this case is 40 plus 45 upon 2 which is 85 upon 2 which is 42.5 what is this data about the data is about yeah so nothing so this is uh, no specific unit is given so our median is 42.5 Fine. So let's look at the second part of the question. The second part of the question says calculate the upper quartile. So this is question 4 part 2. Upper quartile if you remember as I said here is the third part which means upper quartile to calculate it will be the simple you 3 by 4 into nth term. So 3 by 4 into n f term. So in this case, 3 by 4 into n is 16 term, which will be 1, 4, which is 12th term. So let's count the 12th term. This was our 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my upper quartile is 65, 12th term. Number 3, which is lower quartile no not lower quartile they want the interquartile range but to calculate the interquartile range i will in any case have to calculate the lower quartile so what is lower quartile n by fourth term is equal to 16 by fourth term which is the fourth term in this case it will be 1 2 3 4 which is 18 so lower quartile is 18 so interquartile range interquartile range is equal to upper quartile minus lower quartile in this case 65 minus 18 which is equal to 47 perfect so this was a new thing that we learned now this in this question i had n as even now in case n was odd how would we do that question so let's say in case the n was odd let's look at uh, if n is equal to odd let's say we have uh, let's say 15 terms right so n is 15 so median will be the 15 plus 1 upon 2th term which will be the 8th term upper quartile will be the 15 plus 1 into 3 by 4 term so you multiplying it with 3 by 4 which is 16 into 3 by 4 which is 12th term and similarly your lower quartile will be 15 plus 1 upon 4th term which is 4th term perfect now let's look at the next question the next question we do is question number 6 so let's look at the question So let's look at question number six. This is the second type of 
data point that I was talking about when the data is given in the frame of a table. Now the question says the weight of 60 boys. So summation F is given as 60. Let's see if I've done the calc. 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Perfect. I've done the, um, I've written it perfectly. Now I'm already made cumulative frequency. What does it mean? Now this is just data in tabulated form. In case this data was not tabulated, what would it mean? It means that 10 boys had a weight of 37, which means if this was raw data, it would have looked something like this. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 14 boys had 38. So 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. And then 18 boys had 39, and 12 boys had 40. Now, instead of giving this data, writing this data in this form, it takes very a lot of space. So they've given it in the tabulated form. So here, to make it life simple, we calculate cumulative frequency. So like you learned, cumulative frequency is 10, then add 14, that's 24, that's plus 18, 42, 42 plus 12, 54, 54 plus 6, 60. So since n is equal to 60, which is even, what would be my median? Median will be n by 2th term plus n by 2 plus 1th term upon 2. In this case, 30th term plus 31st term upon 2. Now let's look at where would the 30th term be. So till this term we have reached 10. This is 11, 12, 13. So 24th term is still 14. 42 term, 42nd term is 18. Between 24 and 42, all terms are 39. Between 10 and 24, all terms are 38. So let's look at this. Where would I my 30th term be? Yes, 30th term will be between the 24th term and the 42nd term. So my 30th term will be 39. And where would the 31st term be? It would still be here, which means it will still be 39 upon 2 which is 39. Now since this is the weight we are talking about so I will write my weight as 39 kg. Therefore median weight is equal to 39 kg. Perfect. Now let us look at the next part. The next part is lower quartile. Now lower quartile would mean n by 4th term, in this case 60 by 4th term which is 15th term. Now where would the 15th term lie? It would lie between 10 and 24, in this case it is 38. So this is 38 kg. Let's look at the part 3. Part 3 says uh, upper quartile. Uh, so upper quartile, uh, upper quartile is 3 by 4 into nth term, in this case uh, 3 by 4 into 60th term which is 115, that's 45th term. Now where would my 45th term lie? After 42, so between 42 and 54. So between 42 and 54, I have 40. So this is 40 kg. And then the last part, interquartile range. This is upper quartile minus lower quartile, which is 40 minus 38, which is 2 kg. So this is something uh, that we've done this year for the first time which is where median is to be calculated for tabulated data. There you calculate cumulative frequency and exactly like the way you would do for raw data, in case this was odd, you would add one and divide by two. In this case, it is even, so the median will be n, n by two th term plus n by two plus one th term, everything divided by two. So in this case, it's 30th and the 31st term divided by two. Perfect. So now let's look at the next question 
which is uh, question number seven. But for that question, I need a graph. So I'll have to go on to the next video. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.